Today, we're going to take a ride in Tahuya State Forest, or as I like to call it, berms and loose gravel. This is what a berm looks like. It's basically a really fun roller coaster through the middle of a forest. That is, assuming you know how to ride your motorcycle up here. If you don't know how to do that, you wind up riding down here. And you'll notice this is where all the loose gravel collects. Riding a motorcycle in loose gravel is an absolute nightmare. At least it is for me. There's three things I don't know how to do in loose gravel on a motorcycle. Start, stop, and turn. And as you can imagine, those are some pretty important things that you should be able to do on a bike. Let's take a look at a couple examples as to why being able to turn in loose gravel is kind of important. You'll notice the loose gravel here ends with a tree at the end of it. Well, I guess technically if you do hit the tree, you did learn how to stop. But it's not a pleasant experience. And even after you learn where to ride in the proper place on a berm, the gravel still finds ways to challenge you. Let's say we're happily riding along the top of this berm out of the gravel. Well, then you'll hit this gravel right here, forcing you to ride in a straight line, and impacting this tree right here. If we turn off earlier, we again hit the gravel, having to go in a straight line. Then this tree will be kind enough to stop us. To get past this corner, I turned off extremely early so I could go straight line across. And depending on how fast you're going, you don't have a lot of time to make all these calculations. Another factor to consider is the actual berm itself. This berm kind of blends in with the vegetation. However, when you combine the lighting, how much dust there is, and how fast you're going, you don't have a lot of time to be inspecting these berms as you're riding on them. So one day you can come around a corner and try to ride up a berm, only to find out that it's a log, not a berm. Needless to say, this probably wouldn't go very smoothly. Let's take one last example. And I actually have video footage on me trying to ride this one. It started out as a very fun, easy to navigate berm. I hopped onto the berm, riding about three quarters of the way up. Then I went around this blind corner. This is what awaited me. I was in the gravel, with the friendly tree beckoning to me. Seriously? I know, I know. Seconds in. Huh? Like 30 seconds in. <laughs> I was in the wrong gear. You could hear the bike cut out when I tried to give it gas. Oh, I also don't know how to change gears while riding in gravel. Earlier, I had mentioned poor visibility while riding. Let me give you an example. Whoa, I can't see crap. This is a screenshot of the dust I was riding through. Luckily, I slowed down to give the dust a chance to clear, because on the other side of these bushes, I had a wee bit of a surprise waiting for me. And here's something that's downright frightening about dust while you're riding. It can trick you into riding off of the trail. Notice the light streaming through the trees creates dark straight lines in the dust cloud, which produces the illusion that the trail goes straight. But if you look closely, you'll see the trail actually goes to the right. Okay, let me share with you one more thing I learned before we hop into the riding video. You've got to know your machine. Hey Ron, hang loose for a sec, I'm stalled. Yeah, push your choke all the way in. You're right, it was completely out. Please notice my partner who knows motorcycles inside and out knew exactly what was wrong and he wasn't even on the site. Let's take a look at another mechanical weirdness that occurred on this trip. Back brake feels funny. Just a sec. Let me get it. Oh yeah, I can see why. Oh, okay.
I wonder how long that's been in there. How the hell? Let me get this helmet off. Okay, that's enough intro. Let's ride. I know, I know. It's like 30 seconds in. Huh? It's like 30 seconds in. <laughs> I was in the wrong gear. the dust out. Wow! 
big berm and a big root. Stupid place to put a root. Tricky. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Exciting.
down. Back brick, back brick. That would suck. That's a long ways down. Look at the trail, not the cliff. Oh, wow, look down there. behind me. Went to put my foot down. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, there's no land. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. better at jumping off the bike when I can't reach the ground.
That's tight. Vegetation. Who said let's take the new trail? I can hear a lot of stuff bouncing off my helmet. No front brake, Bill. Thanks for watching.